So you've decided that you like your Cyberlox Falls and you want to make a little bit more of an advanced version. I'm going to show you how to do that using elastic, your comb clip, needle and thread, scissors, and of course your crin. You're going to need about two to three bags of 10 yard large crin, or if you're using the mini crin, you'll need a few more bags than that. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to determine the length of your falls. And in order to do that, you just simply hold a piece of crin very loosely up to the top of your head, look in a mirror, and determine where you would like these to be cut. So make sure you also add about an inch and a half to two inches on either side so that we can clean up the ends. So I'm gonna say about there. And from there, I'm gonna use this piece as my guide to cut the remainder of my crin. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when you do that, make sure that you take up the weight on your crin so that you actually get them to be the same size. Crin is very stretchy, so just be careful. Okay, once you have all of them cut, the next step is to do your sewing. The next step is to cut your elastic strip and begin sewing on your crin. For this, I'm just gonna simply put a tack stitch into my elastic to anchor it. And this will make it easier when I put my first piece of crin on. Okay. If you'd like to have layers in this piece, just simply offset your crin so that it falls longer on one side of your elastic than the other. Okay, I'm just simply going to flatten it out. And just stitch it into place. Okay, and we're just gonna keep going by adding our next strip. Just flatten that out and continue your stitches. Continue sewing crinoline onto your elastic until your piece is about four to five inches wide in the center. In order to create more bulk and depth, stitch a second layer right across the center where you already stitched your first pieces on. Now that we have all of our pieces sewn into place and we've established that this is the top and this is the bottom, we're ready to sew on our comb clip. So I'm gonna do a stitch into my elastic to get it started. Next, we're just going to position our comb clip into place and then Just go around with our stitches. I know this is a little bit hard to see because it's black on black, but we're just going around the top of the clip and through the elastic. And when we get to the end, we're just going to knot our thread and cut away the excess. The final step is to make sure that all of our layers are in place and cut the way we want and then simply push in the ends. So we need to take all of the ends that have these rough cuts and simply fold them back in on themselves, like so. If you are using mini crin, it's oftentimes it's helpful to use the end of a pencil or an eraser to help push those ends in. Attaching these Cyberlox pieces to your natural hair is very simple. You're simply going to put your hair into a bun, use the comb clip and push it underneath that bun. Then you're going to take the two elastic straps, pull it down and tie it underneath. If you don't have enough hair to wrap it around your ponytail or your bun, then all you're going to do is simply take those legs and pin them around. From here, you're ready to add a crin top piece or use a wrap to cover your natural hair. This completes your finished Cyberlock style.